evening everyone how is everybody doing tonight I know I haven't been on in a while hope everybody had a great Mother's Day I'm just trying to share into my groups how's everybody doing I hope everyone's doing Just trying to find my live stream here. So today um, we're going to do a canvas I painted black. And um, we're going to use the Transfer Love Grows here. So just sharing into my groups here and then we'll get started. I kind of put my whole color palette up here. Okay, so I hope. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Shalanda. So, we're gonna um, do the transfer love grows here. I just got one more place to share and then we'll get started. This is kind of a, a, a big project. Um, so, I took a canvas, I think it's 12 by 24, I think is what it is. And I painted it black because I wanted to do this on a canvas. Hi, Elaine. Hi, George. How are you tonight? <clears throat> so I picked a whole bunch of different colors. So I'm going to use Periwinkle and Coastal and Caribbean and Aquamarine for all my pots. So we're going to use them for various colors. And then... For the cacti, we're going to use evergreen, lime green, and mint. And then um, for the flower on one of the cactuses, I think I'm going to mix pink and red together to get a little bit of a different color. And then we're going to use white as accents um, for everything. So we're going to get started here because it is kind of a, a big project. So we're going to set these off to the side. And I'm going to reuse this one to make this one. So I'm going to start with um, the two center ones first to get those kind of centered first. So we're going to do this one here. And i got to write on the back of my transfer so I know what I got going on here. Large pot. So did everybody have a nice day weekend? I went away for the weekend for a couple of days. And then this is going to be my accent piece for this one. Okay. So this pot, I'm going to do this color, um, the lighter color first. I think I'm going to do coastal on here and then I'm going to do the reverse on this side and do the periwinkle and then the coastal with the accents of the dots. So I just want to make sure there's some bubbles in this one. So I'm going to lift it up and make sure it's laying down flatter so there's no bubbles in that transfer. So we're going to open up our chalk paste and we're going to give them a stir. Thanks, George. I had a good Mother's Day. Went out to the show with my boys until lunch, and then we had dinner with my mom and my sister later on. So we're going to do 
this color first because I got to wash this transfer off so I can reuse it a second time. And I'm just going to set all my um, colors up here off to the side. And then I'm going to lift this one off because I'm going to wash it off and let it dry. And I'm going to let that one dry while I do the other ones. So we're going to wash this transfer real quick so we can let it dry a little bit so I can do it on the other side. Okay. And then just set that up there to let it dry a little bit. Um, I do have the yellow school bus paste. Hi, Taylor. I'm going to use... Uh, so we're going to do Caribbean... Hi, Connie. How are you? So I'm going to do Caribbean for the big pot. And scrape off the excess. set that one up there. Hi Diana. How are you doing tonight? So we're going to do that color like that. We'll put that in the water bath. And then this one I'm going to do in the aquamarine. I wanted to do some kind of brighter colors and bold colors. So I need a little bit of water in my paste because it's a little bit thick. Because this jar is almost empty. So when they get down to the bottom, sometimes they need a little bit of water. But I still have plenty in there to do what I want to do tonight. A little bit more water. So we're going to just go in there and set that off to the side. And I'm going to do this pot in this color. I'm going to scrape off the excess. Hi, Cam. How are you? So um, up in the description... For those of you who are not familiar with Chalk Couture, I do have a link to my store if you are interested in purchasing Chalk Couture. Chalk Couture is um, silk screen transfers with a sticky back that, um, if you see here, you can see a fine silk screen mesh, and then they're sticky on the back. So you place them down, they do all the work for you. You don't have to really do anything other than think about what colors you want to use. So, and then on this one, I'm going to do the reverse. So I'm going to use Periwinkle. We're going to stir that one up. And this one needs a little bit of water. So you want to have a nice uh, yogurt type consistency. So we're going to just add this a little bit of water because these are water-based. So if they get them out, you get it on your clothes, it will wash out. It doesn't stain them or anything. I've gotten this stuff all over me all the time, and it just washes right out in the wash. I don't have to do anything to pre-treat it or anything like that. So that it's really nice. So we're going to take some chalk paste, and we're just going to make sure this transfers down. And all I'm going to do is just wipe over this part with my chalk paste, scrape off the excess, put it right back into the jar. Hi Kim, how are you? Hi Carol. 
So, and I'm just gonna set that up there. And I'm gonna lift the transfer off and we're gonna see our beautiful pot there. And I'm gonna put that in our water. Like I said, they just wash off with water. So I'm gonna take a heat tool to these just so they can dry. So I can put their other design right back into them. Because we're going to be doing some layering. So we want to make sure these are good and dry. <clears throat> hit this one with the heat tool. Up in the description also, I have a link to my VIP group if you are interested in joining that. That is for my customers only. Um, and in that group, I do offer some sales specials and there are some sales specials in there right now. And I started doing a couple of flash sales last week. I did one and I'm gonna have another one this week. So if you're interested in that, uh, Put VIP in the chat line and I can add you to that group. If you'd like to know how to get your product at a 40% discount, type join and I can put you in our opportunities group so that you can learn more about how you can get your product at a discount and earn a little bit of money in the process. Um, Chocotour is really generous with their their designers. I get my product at 40% discount, um, which I love. I love doing. At first I thought I just wanted to start a new hobby, but um, I ended up got build it, ended up building a team and I love doing what I'm doing and I love sharing the product. That's why you see me doing lives. So, so we're just going to give our pot a little bit of a design there. Okay, we're gonna put that one in there. And then this pot over here, we're gonna do the dots. And we're gonna do it in the lighter color. If I can peel it off the backer and so I'm just gonna put this kind of in the middle of the pot just like that and I'm gonna use the reverse of this pot so we're gonna use the coastal and I'm just gonna cover all those dots and scrape off the excess and put it right back into my jar and since I'm done with these colors, I'm going to close them up so they don't dry out. If they do, you just put a little bit of water in them. Thanks, George. I've been wanting to play with this transfer for a while. I've had it. I've just not had the right uh, canvas for it because I wanted to put it on a canvas because I'm going to frame it. In a canvas so I'm done with all these colors so we're gonna put them away while these dry a little bit and I need to pull this off put that in the water <clears throat> so and I'm in the process of getting ready for another craft show for June 7th. Um, and it's not really a craft show. It's actually a paint and sip show that's for vendors. Um, so I will be doing that while people are doing painting with a twist um, in the process. And then this is going to go in that pot. And this is gonna go in that pot. No, we're gonna do this, this, and this. That's how I'm gonna do that. 
<sighs> so I'm getting these ready for that. So this cactus is going to go in this pot. And I'm going to kind of overlap the leaves a little bit on the pot there. And I'm going to use our evergreen. I did not spray paint the canvas. I just painted it with acrylic. Hi, Dorothy. Um, just black acrylic paint is all I did. I just, I used a sponge and painted it with a sponge. And then I just let it dry. So I'm going to stir up my evergreen. And then this accent one I'm going to do off to the side in mint. So it'll give it a two-toned look. So... We're gonna just cover this whole flower. I shouldn't say flower, I should say cacti, because it is a cactus. With evergreen. Hi Pam, how are you tonight? So we're going to let that one dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go left to right and do all the bottom layers first and then come back and do the top layers. So my aloe vera, I'm going to do in lime green first and then the opposite is going to be in the mint green. Okay, and I'm making sure I write on the backs of my transfers because that way I know. Hi, Joan. How are you? That way I know um, what what um, transfers to put back where. You want to uh, make sure that you write on the back of them because they have a um, a matte finish. Bye, George. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in. So we're going to add a little bit of water to this chalk paste because it's a little thick. We want to thin it down a little bit because we want a nice yogurt type consistency. Again, like I said, so when they get towards the bottom, they tend to dry out a little bit quicker. But you put a little bit of water in them and they rehydrate right back to where they should be. So... So we're going to do the aloe vera and a little bit goes a long way. So all this chalk paste, I can move around where I want it. Make sure I'm going to cover the whole aloe vera and take off that excess. We don't want it too thick because then it takes longer to dry also. So we're going to lift this one off. Just like that. And I'm just going to Clean that a lot up right there. Got a little spot. So it will wipe off. You just got to not rub real hard because that is paint underneath and it will wipe off. So I'm just going to touch up where I... and dab it. And it will dry. It'll be fine. So then on this one, I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to do mint first and then the lime green after but I'm gonna do I want to put two of these in here 
might do three, might overlay them. So I want to make sure it looks like it's in the pot. So when I do this one, Okay. So we're going to do mint green. And we're going to stir this one up. And looks like it might need just a tad bit of water also. So we're just going to do different variations of green and we're going to kind of move them around. Okay. Doesn't look like it's stirred enough, so let's stir it again. Okay, a little bit better. I do have a YouTube channel that, um, if you, there's a link up above. And you go on there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do list all of my um, live videos on there so that you can go back and review them and not try to find them on my um, live, on my profile. So you, that way you can see them again. So I'm going to dry this one quickly because I want to do a couple of them in this pot. We're going to dry this really good so I can lay the silk screen right back down. And since I'm going to be laying it right back down right away, I don't need to um, I don't need to wash it. So we're going to lay it back down. And then we're just going to go right back into the mint. And we're going to put it right through again. Okay, and then we're going to lift that one off. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. And because I've used this transfer twice, I'm going to wash it off because I do want to put a third one on top of it after I've layered the other ones. So we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to wash this transfer off and let it dry a little bit. So we're going to set it up here so it'll dry. Okay, and then we're going to do our other cactus over here. And I'm going to do this one in the lime green too with an accent of the dark green. So we're going to do this one in lime green. So does anybody have any questions about what I'm doing or how I how this um, works? It's a fairly easy thing to do. I love it. The hardest part is figuring out what colors you want to use. Because we have, I think, 35 colors right now. So, there's the first cactus. So, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to get a paper towel here. And I'm going to just throw the heat tool on these to dry them up a little bit so I can start doing the layers.
this dries fairly quickly, so it's not too bad. And then I'm going to tuck this flower probably right in here. And we're going to do this one in mint. So we're going to do this in the lighter green. Okay. I'm gonna lift that up just like that. Hi Brian, how are you? So Okay, and then the aloe, we're also going to do its accents in the mint green. And this is going to line up with all the little teeth marks you'll see. And you just kind of got to kind of lay it down and be a little careful with it. And just like that. Okay, so we're going to do that one in the light green as well for the accent. We want to make sure we get it covered. Hi, Mariana. How are you? So we're going to do that and then I'm going to lift it up and we'll see our beautiful accents just like that. And we're going to just keep everything in a water bath and then when I'm all done I'll wash it all off and let them dry. Okay, so this one... We're going to do the dark green as the accents, and then I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to layer another one on top of it after I do this one again. So our accents on this one's going to be dark. So we're going to find where we're going to line it up as best we can, just like that. And I'm going to use our evergreen for the accents on this one. Hi, Lee. And then I'm going to lift it and I'm going to dry it because I got to put my green accents on the second one over here. So I'm going to dry it real quick. See how the mint took on the tone of the lime so it it didn't it's not as light as it it looked it took on that undertone so it blended very beautifully so we're gonna line this up again on the second one As carefully as we can. This one's being a little bit, second time around, it's being a little bit harder. Okay, and we got that there. So now we're going to do the evergreen again. And I'm going to really push that through. 
And I'm gonna and I'm gonna wash this one off and let it dry again. Because we're gonna do a third one. We're gonna layer two. I'm gonna layer a third one right on top of this one. On top of the two of them. So I'm gonna rinse that off a little bit and then wash it. Okay, so that, that way it's got a little bit of drying time while I'm playing with the other cactuses. So, you just take a Clorox wipe and you clean it off nice, front and back. So that the stickiness, when, when it's dry, well, the stickiness comes right back. So we're going to lay that up there. And I'm going to dry off my table. Oop, and I've got a water drop here. So I'm just going to dab that off of there. Uh. Okay, so then we're going to do our other part of our cactus over here. And I'm just going to stick with the same. Hi, Alan. So this just overlaps this color, and we're going to do the mint again on top of that. So it's going to take on that same tone like the aloe vera. I'm going to put too much on my... So we're going to just do that, just like that. And we're going to lift it off. And when that dries, see how light it is now? But when it dries, it's going to look like this. So this one is dry enough. I'm going to make sure that these layers are dried really good before I go to put this third one down. Turn that off. I'm just going to make sure my silk screen is nice and dry, which it is. Because otherwise, if it wasn't, it would rehydrate. So I'm going to put this one right over top of this, and we're going to layer a third one into this pot. Just like that. And we're going to start with the, la the mint green, like I did before. And then we're going to put the evergreen right over top of it. Okay, and we're done with that color. So we're just going to gently peel that back. And we're going to let that dry a little bit. Put that in the water. And I'm done with this lime green, so we're going to close that up and I'm done with the mint green so we're going to close that up as well okay so on my cactus here we have a little flower so what I want to do is I'm going to mix some pink and red together because I want I want it pink but not that pink so we're going to put a little bit of red in it so I have an empty jar. I save all my empty jars just so I can mix the colors like I want to be able to mix them. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pink and put it in this jar. And then we're going to get a dab of red. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. So when you don't have the colors you want, what's nice is you can take and mix these colors and get what you want. 
So I'm just going to put a dab of red right there. And we're going to mix these two colors together. Because I don't want it bright pink. And I need a little bit more red. Because you don't need a lot of paste. not enough in there to stir so I'm going to put a little bit more in there so I can stir it better and get the color I'm looking for hi Deborah so it's not as bright which is good because I didn't want a really bright pink because it'd be glaring off the top of that little cactus so we're just going to put a little pink flower right there hi Aunt Sharon right on the top of this cactus and I can save this color because I want to use it later I can always add to it and use it later okay just like that and we're going to lift it off and then it's not it's not quite as bright of a pink that way so we're done with those we're going to close them up and I'm going to save this color because I can always uh, reuse it okay so I'm going to go over this one, make sure it's dry really good so I can put that dark green on there again. And I notice I got a couple of spots here and there, which I'm just going to take a paintbrush to fix that. I'm not going to try and put the transfer down on it again because it won't look right then. So we're going to just clean up my mess. Add another, what, flower, Diana? Uh, make sure my transfer is all good and dry. Mm. Yep, I could do that. What do you think about over here or on top of here? Okay, so we're going to do evergreen. I can put it on top of the big one. I know I was kind of looking at it, but you're right. It does probably need another one. So. I'm going to put the flower right like that. There we go. I always have tons of little squeegees cut up so we can do that just like that that's how easy it is to just add here we go okay hi Joe Okay, 
got to make sure I keep all of my backers the where they should be. Okay, so then Love Grows here I'm going to do in white. Set those all up out of the way. I want to do love right here. Maybe we'll do down here like this. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Just like that. And this one's going to get sprayed and be permanent. And I'm going to make a frame for it. So we're going to stir up my white paste. Nice consistency for that white. I'm just going to fill in the letters. Okay. I forgot. This is a canvas. I didn't put something underneath it to block it from bouncing because it's bouncing. It's bouncing from uh, the pressure. Scrape off all the excess, make sure I got no lines, and lift it up. Here's the love. Hi Beth, hi Brandy. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm gonna lift this one up. then to fix this one that has like polka dot looking in it I've got my um, little paintbrush and I'll get my thin my uh, mint back out and I'm just gonna kind of fill in those spots because that happened because I didn't dry it good enough so we're just gonna take a, a thin paintbrush and I'm just going to dab in those couple of spots where it needs to be fixed very gently. And it's not hard to fix your mistakes. That's very forgiving to do. So we'll just dab that paste right in there very gently it'll take a little bit longer to dry in those spots because the paste is thicker but I'm just gonna let it sit overnight it's not a big deal it's a little bit too thick right there Okay, and then I'm going to clean my brush off, and I've got a couple of spots where the dark green needs to go. So I'm just going to go over the dark green right here. Because there was a couple of spots here where it lifted off. And voila, we're good. So if you have any questions or want uh, to ask anything, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Um, 
Again, I got a link up in the top of my description that um, is to my website and you can purchase your product right on there. But if you think you're going to be buying more than $100, definitely uh, reach out to me and ask me how you can get your product at 40% off. Um, by joining Trocator as designer, we get our product at 40% off, and um, you don't have to sell if you don't want to. It can be just a hobby. That's how I originally had started, is I just wanted it as a hobby and make pretty things for my home, but it has turned into a business for me. Um, I have a great team and a great upline, and I'm getting ready to go to our convention in June, so... We're going to get released all our um, fall fall line is going to be um, debuted there. So I'll know what's going on when I come back at the end of June. And you want to stay tuned. So if you um, want to learn what's co coming, just uh, join my VIP group. And their link is up there in the description as well. And I will be posting lots of updates of things that are to come. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me create this project. And I hope you all have a great night. And I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.